As the global electric vehicle market continues to gain market share, there's been a surge in demand for rare earth minerals needed to build EV batteries. Now, China currently accounts for more than two-thirds of the world's rare earth mineral production, which in Europe is leading to concerns about over-reliance on one single market. Trent Murray has this report. Turning trash into treasure. This is a new multi-million dollar metals processing plant which has just opened in southern Poland. It's hoped its recycling processes will help the EU hit ambitious targets for reclaiming rare earth minerals like lithium, cobalt and nickel. Rare earth components critical for building electric vehicle batteries. Critical raw materials are recovered, extracted from the waste. We have noticed the gap uh, between supply and demand of battery metals in uh, at the European market. And we noticed the growing importance of batteries recycling, especially from the perspective of increasing share of electric vehicles introduced to the market. Old batteries are crushed, the metals extracted, and placed into a smelter where they are melted and grouped back together, ready to be sold back to car companies. Elemental Strategic Metals says its processes prevent large amounts of valuable minerals going to waste. Of course, it depends on the particular uh, kind of the batteries uh, or method of calculation, but we can uh, firmly assume that more than 90% of mass of the waste are recovered here and turned into valuable raw materials for further production. Today, less than 1% of rare earths consumed in the EU are recycled. Those are numbers that for lawmakers in Brussels are simply not good enough. They've set ambitious new targets for 25% of EU demand for critical minerals to come from recycling by the year 2030. The metals are needed not just for EV batteries, they're also widely used in wind turbines and other renewable energy infrastructure. And demand is expected to soar as the green energy transition gathers steam. But for Europe, the targets aren't just about environmental benefits, but also aim to reduce dependencies on foreign imports. For certain critical materials, China currently provides up to 100% of the EU supplies. To change that, a sweeping package of reforms has been passed to not just increase recycling rates, but also to put shovels in the ground closer to home. With recent trade tensions between Brussels and Beijing accelerating Europe's efforts to diversify supplies. There is a European policy now with a critical raw material act that has come into force. The European Union intends to mine 10% domestically, meaning in the EU. It intends, uh, intends to take some 40% in processing out of a domestic capacity and 25% should come from recycling. So it is really a boost within the European Union to become more independent. What still lacks is a sort of policy that would support it. But ambition aside, experts are exercising caution over whether these goals can be achieved, given China's existing market dominance across many rare earth metal markets. Other obstacles include energy intensive technologies used in recycling and the lack of an efficient scheme to collect discarded electronics. It is a target, but no policy yet to deliver. And that makes a significant difference when we look at what motivates uh, market actors. What business wants to see is kind of a funding program, a dedicated policy, like a quota that requires new products on the market to have a composition mixed with, say, recycled materials. As part of the world's broader climate goals, transitioning from combustion engines to electric vehicles will play a critical role in reducing both pollution and greenhouse gas emissions. 
But to get there, securing access to rare earth metals remains a key challenge for both governments and automakers alike, meaning salvaging every last scrap of these valuable metals will be seen as essential for hitting net zero. Trent Murray, CNA, Zawiecie, Poland.